Look, I'm not going to sit here and moan about my, my pain and grief, all right? I, I, I get it. I understand. Everybody suffers losses. Doesn't make them hard in your life. No, it's just... I don't know. I, I know. I, I've been very blessed throughout my life. I mean, a few years back, I was in a car accident down by the river. Lost control, flipped the car. There's no way I should survive that. But I did. Same way Emily survived cancer. I fought so hard for her. Prayed so hard. I was so determined for her to, to try and take some strength from me. And she did. And I'd like to believe that's one of the reasons she pulled through. As crazy as that sounds, I, I believe that. I think that sounds crazy. But I, I, I really started to believe, Nadine, that the worst could never happen. Just couldn't happen. That no matter how hopeless things got, in the end, they turn around for Emily and me. You and Emily shared a connection. The type of connection people would do I don't, anything for. I don't know, but she's dead. That's the point. That someone who's, who's so kind and so generous and has everything to live for can be taken away from you so senselessly. So could Lou. You don't know that. Well, <laughs> Emily's death also taught me that you can run out of miracles that the people that are so precious to you the people that you do anything for even die for you're helpless to save them really just the waiting and the not knowing is killing me right now and some people are more comfortable taking action <laughs> people like you and you well, hey, my instinct is to hire an army of PIs, track Lulu down, and get her out of this. But Lucky thinks it'll put her in even more danger. You have an opinion on that? I'm sure you do. Well, I know you want to fix this for your sister, like any big brother would, but I think you should listen to Lucky on this one. It might just make things worse. Worse? How can they get any worse? My, my little sister's on the run with her boyfriend, who happens to be accused of murder and is, and is armed and, is it safe to say, dangerous? But not to Lulu. I mean, you don't actually no. think he's hurt her. No, no, I mean, I said, I said, he, I don't think he would hurt her deliberately, but bullets don't discriminate. Mm -hmm. They don't care if you're an innocent bystander. I mean, again, think of Michael Corinthos. Oh, Lulu, she just... She did this on impulse, I know it. She just went charging into this mess because... She's got her mother's heart and her father's recklessness. See? See, she's one of those people. She's one of those people who, who believes that in the end, everything is going to be all right. Love conquers all. And nobody ever dies. But they do die. I've seen reports all over the news that Johnny Sakara escaped police custody after yeah. taking Lulu hostage. Yeah, well, I think it's fairly safe to say that, unfortunately, Lulu helped him stage the whole thing. I, I don't think she's in any direct danger from Johnny, but... But she's in the noble police manhunt now, and naturally Nicholas is worried about his sister, so she's trying to support him. I, I, I would do the same thing for Lucky if I could. I mean, I just, I know he's probably scared to death for his sister. My first impulse was to actually go to him, but we did just stage a very public breakup for a good reason, because infiltrating drug smugglers is not going to be easy if I am a cop's girlfriend. Sam, you put yourself in that situation, you're going to end up in more danger than Lulu is. Yes, I do know that, but it's all going to be worth it if I can now, whoever is responsible for putting fake drugs into hospitals and clinics like yours, and that's that. Someone actually hire you to pilot one of the boats that's carrying these drugs? Not yet, but I do have some leads. Good ones, actually. I mean, I think this will actually be my way in, but Lucky is my first responsibility. I just, I want to know if he's okay. Well, Lucky seems to be doing a lot better than his brother. Really? What does that mean? <sighs> All right, well, when, when I found out that John took Lulu from the police station, I, I went down there and went off on Anthony Zakara. Oh. Yeah, attacked a man in a wheelchair, not one of my finer moments. Ouch, yep. 
Mm, like he was handling things during his job. I mean, he seemed worried, and I'm sure it would have helped to have had you there, but, you know. But, what, he doesn't really need me? Yes, he does. He cares about you, Sam. Yeah, I know, Nicholas. I don't need to constantly be reminded and reassured. Oh, great. I just sounded like one of those whiny, pathetic women, didn't I? No, you sounded like a woman in love. Checking the meds, making sure that none of them were counterfeit. Well, we're already checking everything as it comes in, so this is going up, up, and down. Well, I would like to avoid handing out any more useless meds. We haven't done such a good job of that so far, and I'd assume you'd want the same thing. So the, uh, the light on back here, is there anything I don't know about? Um, Matt and I were just talking about spot checking the meds to make sure that we don't endanger any more patients. Oh, good. Good, I'm glad the two of you are on top of it. Never be too careful. Mm. Right? 